Hello, everybody. Hello. Can you give me a wave? Everybody. Oh, good waving. Well done. Well, it's very nice to see you. I haven't seen you for a long time, have I? I'm really, really sorry. I've not been able to come to school. My silly old tummy's still not very well. But the doctors are working very hard to make it better. So, fingers crossed. Hopefully, it won't be too long. And then I'll be back in nursery to see you. Well, I watched you all singing at the Christmas sing-along. And that was fantastic. Well done, everybody. Such lovely songs. And I know you've had Mrs Herbert there and all the ladies looking after you. So I know you're fine. Just me missing you a lot. So I thought what we would do is read some Christmas stories up to Christmas. So I've got a little Christmas story for you today. Okay, uh, and I'm going to read it now. I'm going to turn my camera around, so I hope I'm going to point it in the right direction. But we'll have a little story, is it? Okay, here we go. Let's turn it around and have a look. So, this story is called I Love You, Father Christmas. I hope you can see it there. Let's have a look. It was written by Giles Andre and Emma Dodd. Ooh, snowflakes, that's pretty, isn't it? I'll get the book to stay open now so it doesn't flap when I'm reading. I love you, Father Christmas. Mm. I wonder who's talking. Do you think it's this little boy who's talking to Father Christmas saying I love you? I love you, Father Christmas. In your big red suit with your bright silver buckle. Where's that? There it is. And your black shiny boots. Oh, that's a nice big catch. Your beard looks amazing. Oh, he's brushing his beard off. Look. He's looking in the mirror. He's making himself smart. Oh, this must be his house. Look. There's his Christmas socks. Woohoo! Your beard looks amazing. And yes, you're rather fat. But you probably just like eating. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, can you see what he's eating then? I bet Father Christmas eats lots of this. Christmas pudding. I like Christmas pudding. Yum, yum. I love your pretty reindeer flying fast across the sky. Oh, there they go. Shall we count them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six reindeers. It takes six reindeers to pull that sleigh. I'm not surprised. Look at all the toys on there. Oh, I wonder if one of those is for you. I'll leave them all some carrots mm. and some yummy mince pies. I think they're probably for the reindeers, aren't they? And the mince pies are for Santa. Put them under the Christmas tree. Have you got your Christmas tree up in your house? I love you, Father Christmas. And I promise I've been good. And I'm not just saying that because I know I should. Tell me more about what you've been doing. I've tried every day to be as helpful as I can. I've said my please and thank yous. And I always eat my tea. I should hope so. I've played very nicely with all the girls and boys. I've kept my bedroom tidy. And I've tried to share my toys. That's quite hard sometimes, isn't it? When there's something you really like. Ooh. I think I lost the page. Wait a minute. There we go. And I know I'm very lucky with the way my life has been. But it's just, I do like presents, if you're getting what I mean. I used to get presents, is not it? I used to give them to the people too. That's always lovely. So, lovely Father Christmas, if you visit us tonight, 
I swear there'll be no peeping and we'll switch off every light. Mm, he's having a good sleep. He's got his eyes closed so he's asleep. Look out the window, look. Oh, he was on his way. Here comes Santa. Yes, I love you, Father Christmas. You're the best you are. Yippee! Miss Santa. Putting the toys in the stocking. He's still fast asleep. Oh, I hope you like this letter. With lots of love from me. Well, it's not from me. It's from the little boy, I think. Oh, Santa brought him presents. He's got a little toy reindeer. It's waking up on Christmas morning time. Such a lovely time. And that's the pen. More snowflakes in lovely blue colour for the sky. That's the end. Did you like that story? I hope you could see it properly. I'm going to turn my phone around just for another minute now. Oh, there we are. You can see my boy's messy, messy bedroom. Well, I hope you like that story. And I'll try and do a couple more now before Christmas. And you can watch them and we can we can pretend it's like I'm reading to the, to you in nursery. And that'll be nice. All right, everybody. So, have a lovely weekend. And I'll send you another story next week, okay? All right, then. Can you give me a wave bye? Bye, everybody. Bye.